comes to talking, I'm the sweetest sweet talker in the world. Well, she said you better start talking if you want me to be. Grown that tank has become with this great fertilization program. Here's the tank, the bow tank, before any trimming. And as you can see, the plant growth is just a forest. The fish are doing just fine with it. But of course, it's got to have something done because there's no room for anything else in the tank now. Isn't that wonderful? What a contrast to Bruce's beautiful landscape tanks where he trims off all this stuff somehow. Mark asked about the planting of the cabamba. Do I put it in the gravel? He's having trouble keeping it from floating. And yeah, I do. This uh, cabamba, you can barely see on both sides of some of the other plants, is anchored in the gravel. And sometimes I do put metal anchors on it just to help keep it there. Anyway, hoping that your planting goes as well. And I'll be back with some pictures once I get a chance to trim and replant and move some of these plants around. Maybe moving them over into the corner tank a little bit. Anyway, very successful growth. Over here on the corner tank, that pie-shaped 50-gallon, the plants are doing okay. I'm certainly not complaining, uh, but they still have room <laughs> for the fish to swim, especially the cardinals, which are doing so beautifully in the front there. I did lose two of those green long fin barbs. You see the one there to the left. Uh, and that's the dance they do. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, just this morning found two of them dead of the three. Sorry, that was a nice school of fish, but uh, they've been acting strange for a while. And then up in the corkscrew Valsneria area to the left, you may get a chance to see that red-tailed shark that I've added back into this tank last time we talked. He's starting to come out now. You can see him going down toward the, the bottom there. Love red-tailed sharks. I like to have one in each tank. Can't put more than one in a tank. They fight until one's dead. Uh, and somehow the tricolored sharks, which do so well here and have grown so big, uh, you can see one coming across on the lower right there. They chase each other once in a while, but uh, it's more of a chase than damage. And so the Madagascar lace plant continues to do well right next to those banana plant leaves and Bruce explain, explained last time I saw his big leaves that once the bananas disappear and the roots go into the soil or gravel in this case uh, those leaves just get big and bright and light green like that and they look gorgeous. The Amazons in the center are doing very well. You may notice the uh, cool, uh, the loach Pakistani loach. There's two of them in there. They're very active and they chase a lot of fish around. I'm surprised at that. There's one just to the right of center, right on the gravel level, and the other one's to the left. Very active fish. Enjoy watching them. Anyway, just giving you a vision of these two tanks before we do some replanting. <laughs> 